Hey brother, welcome back. Today is Memorial Day here in the U.S. It's a day for honoring and mourning the passing of military service members. But for those who've never been in the military or maybe never have lost uh, someone in the military, it can be a day of a different type of mourning. A day of remembering when your wife said, I don't want to be married anymore. It can be a day of remembering when she said, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, or that I want a separation, or that I've had an affair, or any number of things that signify the death of a relationship, or at least what seems to be at the time the death of, relationship, of the relationship. And it's important to recognize that, that she has been mourning the death of the relationship for a couple of years, that she's been trying to drop little hints and tell you that she wasn't happy, that she's been trying to figure it out for herself. She's been trying to understand where all of this is going and she hasn't been able to do it. And so that's why she's eventually, or finally, coming to you and saying that she's done, that she doesn't want to work on it, that she's not emotionally strong enough anymore to put in the work. I remember when my wife told me two days before Halloween that she didn't want to be married anymore. We sat on a park bench in our neighborhood, in our well-organized, family-friendly, beautiful little neighborhood. We sat on a park bench right next to the tennis court. And I cried. I felt like my life was over. I felt like a failure as a husband, and as a father, and as a man. And I remember not knowing really what to do with that, and that we continued to sleep in the same bed and live in the same house. And tried to figure out what that meant. And then two days after Christmas, she said, I don't feel any different. I feel like a fraud. And so I moved out. I moved out to a, a vacant two-bedroom apartment, and that night I found myself laying on an air mattress, staring up at the ceiling, asking myself, how did I get here? I did everything that I thought I was supposed to do. I tried real hard, I mean real hard, hard to the point where I was exhausted, that I just didn't know where to turn or who to talk to or what to do anymore. And so, I know what you're going through right now. I understand what it's like to not know where to turn. I understand what it's like to reconcile as well and get back together and move back into the house and continue to work on it and try to figure it out and try to understand what went wrong and what needs to happen next. I remember I remember what it's like to remember that moment every year as a, a recurring event. You know, the, the first year after she said, I don't want to be married anymore, I remembered it. It was almost like an anniversary. Not a great one. Almost like Memorial Day, right? Memorial Day is bittersweet. We want to remember the fallen. We want to honor them. And at the same time, it's not something that we walk around saying, Happy Memorial Day. We don't walk around saying happy, happy anniversary of the time that you told me that you didn't want to be married anymore, that you wanted a divorce, that you wanted a separation, that you had an affair. Um, it's generally not a, a date that we want to celebrate, but it's certainly something that we remember. And we remember it one, two, three years later. And eventually, at some point, we have to let go of it. We have to learn to let go of it. We have to learn that, that life is moving in a different direction, that we're okay, that no matter what happens with the relationship, it doesn't mean that we're a failure. It doesn't mean that we're a good man or a bad man. It just means that that's what's happening. And so, so today, I just wanted to make that video for you, this video for you, to say, 
this might be a day when you're remembering these things and I want you to know that you don't have to be there. You don't have to stay there. You don't have to live there anymore. You don't have to relive that moment. You don't have to hang on to the past. You don't have to assign meaning to it and tell yourself a story about who you are and let it define you that you can actually move forward and either decide to work on their relationship and reconcile or to move on to um, new opportunities in life. And so I just want to encourage you today as we're quietly observing this holiday, I want to encourage you to, to know that you're okay, that, that life will go on and that there will be new, new beginnings. There will be new endings, new beginnings, and that no matter how you choose to remember this day, that you're okay. All right, brother. That's all I have for you today. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.